What's going on guys? Welcome back to RV Adventure Couple. Today we're going to be installing a Dometic 310 toilet under warranty without having to go to the dealership. But first, right after this. Uh, what's in the box? All right, folks, brand new Dometic 310 toilet that I called up Dometic myself and did the warranty claim. They didn't ask any questions, really. Um, just shipped it right out to me. And I'm avoiding the dealership and doing this myself. Let's get into it. All right, step one. Let's cut off our water. All right, we got it off. Step two, we're gonna drain our black tank. Step three, we're gonna put some uh, some of the orange stuff down the toilet to help combat the smell while we got the toilet off. Step four, grab tools, 11 millimeter. Step five, get a towel, put it right there under where you're gonna disconnect the water. Even though you've already cut the water off, there could still be a little bit of water in that line. Step six, there's a cap like this on both sides. You have two of them, one, one on the other side. Take those off and take off this 11 millimeter. On this side, your pedal's in the way, so you're gonna have to either use a wrench or take the pedal off. Doesn't matter now, because you're gonna be placing this toilet. Step seven, get some gloves, because this is a shitty situation. Step eight, on the brand new toilet, get some petroleum jelly on your finger. And this rubber gasket right there, run some on it, on the bottom and the top of it, as preventative maintenance. All right, step nine, after you get the nuts off, you're gonna remove the shitter. Step 10, put on your gloves, get your toilet bowl brush, and clean this if you'd like before you install the new toilet. Step 11, install a new shitter. Step 12, take nuts and bolts, tighten down toilet. Step 13, reinstall the caps on the bolts here. Step 14, reconnect water line. Step 15, tighten toilet lid and then put the caps in here and then you are done. All right guys, as a bonus step, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this little valve off because I've already had to replace that myself once. Um, and I may also harvest this water line just in case I ever need to replace it But those are the two, only two things that I think would be worth a damn saving on this toilet So I'm gonna take that off and I'll be done with it. All right guys. There it is um, I think even with filming it probably took me 15 minutes There's no point in taking it into the dealership where they could possibly find something else wrong I really personally don't trust those people. We've had bad run-ins with them in the past, but um if you guys thought this was helpful, um, please give me a like, subscribe, comment below if you think I did it wrong. Um, anyways, if we don't see you on the road, we'll see you in the next video. Peace.